Hi there. After this lesson, you should be able to recall and apply the power of a power rule and power of a quotient rule to simplify expressions. Today, we will cover two more properties or rules of exponents. The power of a power rule and the power of a quotient rule. Let's begin. First, let's take a look at the power of a power rule. For example, consider the monomial 4 squared to the third power. We can apply what we know about exponents and write 4 to the second power three times. Okay, we also know that 4 to the second power is just 4 times 4. We can rewrite our expression as 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. Or, this is 4 to the sixth power. But, we don't have to go through all of those steps every time a number with an exponent is raised to a power. Can you figure out our rule? You may have guessed it. Our rule for raising a power to a power is to multiply the exponents. In this instance, 2 times 3 is equal to 6. The next rule we will cover is the power of a quotient rule. We can apply this rule when there is a division problem raised to some power. Using what we know about exponents, we can write this as 3 eighths times 3 eighths. We know that when we multiply two fractions, we multiply the numerators and the denominators. We can rewrite this as 3 to the second over 8 to the second. Notice the exponent has just been applied to both the 3 and the 8. Therefore, our rule for the power of a quotient is to simply apply the power to both numerator and denominator. Sometimes, we will have to use more than one property of exponents to simplify an expression. Take a look at the following monomial. To simplify, let's first apply the power of a qu quotient property by raising both the numerator and the denominator to the power of 4. Good, now we can apply the power of a power property in the numerator by multiplying the exponents. 2 times 4 gives us an exponent of 8. Lastly, to simplify completely will mean to find the actual value of the expression. 7 to the 8th power equals 5,764,801 and 6 to the 4th is equal to 1,296. Written as a mixed number, this is 4,448 and 193, 1,296. Use the properties of exponents to simplify each expression below. We can apply the power of a power rule to help us simplify a. Using this rule, we multiply the exponents to get 3 to the 14th power. Completely simplified, we get 4,782,969. For b, we will use the power of a quotient rule. The power of 3 will be applied to both numerator and denominator. Simplified, we get x to the third over 512. And lastly, for c, we will be using more than one property to simplify. First, we use the quotient rule in parentheses and subtract 8 from 10 to get 6 to the second power raised to the fourth power. Next, we can apply the power of a power rule and multiply exponents to get 6 to the eighth power. Simplified, this is 1,679,616. Great job! Thank you.